Hey guys, Late Boy Scout here, going to give you my review of two keychain sized offerings from my favorite multi tool maker, Leatherman. These two tools are called the Style and the Style CS. This one's been on my keychain for a while. This one I've been checking out as well. Very cool pair of tools, very similar in appearance and design. This almost looks like it's, you know, that one kind of chopped in half or, you know, kind of incomplete, <laughs> but it's actually quite uh, its own tool in a lot of ways. Uh, let's uh, look at the two of them and sort of compare them size-wise. You can see that this is a bit thicker than this one, uh, at least this way, but uh, the Style CS is considerably wider, about twice as wide. And how wide is that? Let's go ahead and measure them. This comes in at just over uh, almost two and a half inches with the key ring. Okay, and this one is right around almost three inches. Okay, but uh, as far as the width is concerned, it's not very wide. It's maybe three eighths. Three eighths is all. Whereas this one comes in at slightly more, but still not quite one half. Either way, very lightweight, very easy to carry multi tools. Speaking of the weight, about how heavy are these things? The style comes in at 0.81 ounces, not even one ounce. And the style CS is only slightly more at 1.45 ounces. Easily keychain sized uh, tools. Very easy to carry around. In fact, I've had this on my keychain for a while now, and I love it. I think it's a great tool, and I uh, love the way it carries. I love the fact that this clips onto and off of my key ring like that, you know? So easy and means that I can take it off, get full use of the thing without keys dangling around. You now that's a really nice feature, I think. Let's get into the scissors, which are the main tool on the Style CS. I love the scissors on this thing. Very, very similar to those of the Micra. Nearly identical. The vectors are a little different, but effectiveness-wise, basically the same scissor. Okay, and I've always loved this one. Uh, also, we could note that uh, the Squirt S4 series has uh, really the exact uh, scissor uh, as the Style CS. Pretty much everything about it is identical. Yeah, cool. And I always liked this scissor as well. My wife still loves this one. You'll see that this has a glass-filled nylon scale on this side, which helps to lighten it up a bit and also gives it a nice feel. And that actually uh, serves as a sort of sheath for the tweezers. Cool. They slip into that little divot right there. Get that back in there for you. See how that works. Just like so. Got to make sure that uh, this end is turned up as you push that back in. This carabiner not only clips onto your key ring, but it also serves as a nice bottle opener. Uh, you grab your bottle top like so and yank it open it up. Cool. And there's a little knife for you. 420HC. Comes quite sharp. Brand new. It is chisel ground, meaning that it's only ground on one side. You only get an edge on one side. And this one is just not ground at all. That's actually, what I mean by that is the edge itself, the terminating edge is chisel ground. But the blade itself is kind of a full flat grind. Uh, it's so small that that doesn't really matter, but there you are. Also kind of a drop point design to it. Fairly effective and uh, useful for its size. And I really like the little holes that are drilled out. Completely cosmetic, but it really goes along with the look of the entire tool, wouldn't you say? I like it. No one-hand deployment, obviously, just a little nail nick for it. There's also a little nail nick for the nail file. Uh, let's a little side note, it's got a nail nick on the back, but it doesn't, doesn't help in any way. You can't reach that, but oh well, whatever. I love nail files on my multi-tools because, <clears throat> you know what, frankly, I get a little bugged when my nails are really kind of sharp after I've clipped them. I hate it. I like having something like this on me that I don't have to go looking for, you know. It's far more effective than, say, the one that comes with your nail clipper. I hate those things. This thing is actually very, very aggressive and effective, and uh, just, it feels nice. So yeah, 
And also this serves as a both a flathead Phillips screwdriver and sort of an eyeglass screwdriver on the tip here. You could also just sort of use it for, I don't know, just as a flathead, but with not, not quite as much torque because, you know, it kind of terminates there and becomes narrower. Something to note and, uh, you know, not a big deal to me. So those are basically all the tools on here. Very nice little keychain multi-tool. Carry it around all the time, absolutely love it. Back to the style. It actually has pretty much the same complement of tools, short of the carabiner bottle opener. The scissors obviously are different. Let's pull these scissors out again. The scissors on the style are quite different, as you can see, considerably different. These are actually the identical uh, scissors that you will find on the Squirt PS4 if you're interested in that tool. Uh, fairly effective, as uh, demonstrated in the Leatherman Scissor Cut Test video that I did. You might want to check that out if you're interested. Also, there's a nice little um, nail file on here, exactly like the one, pretty much exactly like the one that you have here on the Style CS. The nail nick is in a little different position, but otherwise, just as effective, just as aggressive. Excellent. Well done, Leatherman. Like it a lot. And, of course, there is a knife on it, and that is definitely identical to this one. Let's go ahead and compare them side by side. That is identical as it gets. Yep. They are even chisel ground on the exact same side. Tells me that, uh, well, you know, they crank out one blade and put it on both of these. Doesn't bother me at all. Don't know why it should. That's not it, though. You've actually got tweezers here. They're hidden. <laughs> kind of hard to find. But you find them. Here they are right here on the end. You've got some pretty decent little tweezers. See that? And it goes in just about as easily as it came out. Just slip it through that crack there, and there you are, back in place. And I'm going to say that that's going to hold in place very, very well. It takes enough force, and it holds in there by friction quite well. I don't think you're ever going to lose that. Anodized aluminum on the outside here, the scale. And this is a very interesting texture. It's actually considerably grippier than it looks, and certainly a lot grippier than what you have on the Squirt S4 here. This is, um, I'd almost compare this to like a fine grit sandpaper. Not, uh, not like a nail file, but like a really, really fine grit sandpaper. It's, uh, I don't know how they pulled that off, but it's actually quite, <laughs> quite an interesting grip to it. I like it. It's well done. There you go, guys. This is my review, an overview of the Leatherman Style CS and Leatherman Style. Both very decent tools. This one comes in in the uh, $15 to $20 range, and this one in the mm, $12 to $15 range, something like that. You can find them all over the place. I picked both of these up at Cabela's when they were on sale for like $15 and $11, I think. I couldn't, uh, couldn't be happy with my purchase. Love both of them. This is actually going to be a gift to, uh, to my sister, but she doesn't know that yet. Anyway. Late Boy Scout guys, thanks for watching my review of these awesome little keychain tools from Leatherman. I'll see you guys later.